In this lesson, we are going to list products. By the end of this lesson, you will learn how to make list of products like this and show product thumbnail, product name, brand, price, and add to cart button. Also, you will make them responsive and based on mobile, tablet, and desktop screen, you can show different products in a row. To get the source code of this lesson, go to the repository and in the comment section, find the code that we have used in this lesson. If you are ready, let's get to code. Here is the plan to list products. Let us start by adding data.js and creating an array of sample products. In the explorer, in the empty space, create new folder name utils. Inside that, create a new file name data.js. What we're gonna do here is to create data object using const data equal to empty object and inside that create product array using product colon square brackets and define the first object. The first product is an object for the name of product, set it to whatever you want. I set it to free shirt, set the slug for product, URL friendly name, category to shirts, and set the image to this address slash images slash shirt one dot jpg. We need to create this image later and add other info, including price, brand, rating, num reviews, content stock, and description. Save the code to format it. And here is the first product that we added to the data object. Do the same for second product. This one is feed shirt and the address is shirt2.jpg. Go for the third one. This one is a slim shirt, brand Raymond, and shirt3.jpg. You can add as many as you want. I'm going to add the fourth product. This one is pants. And I'm going to add two other pants. This is the next one and the last pants. That's it. Save the code. And here is the result. We have six products inside the products array in data object. At the end, export default data. I scroll down at the very end, export default data. So we can use the data in other files. Good, let's go for adding images. Go to public folder, right click, new folder, images. Then find the images from the repository link. The link is in the description. And go to the images folder in the repository, copy them and paste them right here inside the images folder. Great. Let's go for rendering products. Then go to index.js, type control or command P and go to index.js. Here we are going to render products. To render product, I'm going to define a component named product item. So go to the components folder, right click, new file and set file name to product item.js. Type RFC and press tab to create a React functional component. And as a parameter to product item, pass product object. Then create a dev and set the class name of the dev to cart. We implement cart class using tailwind later. Then create a link inside the cart using this code. Link is a component from next link and set the href to a slash product slash a slug of product. I'm using template literal to make the code more readable. Then inside that create an anchor like this and inside the anchor create image element. For the image, set src to product.image and alternative text to the product.name. Set class name to rounded. It's a class from 
tailwind and it set border radius to 0.25 rem and use the shadow to add a shadow for the image. Save the code, click on the lamp and select disable next no image element for entire line. Because we are going to make the image responsive, we use the IMG tag instead of image component from next. After that, create a div and set the class name of the div to flex, flex column, item center, and justify center. So what we did is to create a center aligned div vertically and horizontally. Also create a padding 5 using p-5 and inside the div create heading 2. For the heading 2 set the class name to text large to create a large text using font size 1.1 rem and inside that show the product name and save the code to format it. We are going to make this linkable so create a link like what we did for the image and move the heading 2 inside it like this. Also put empty anchor so wrap the heading 2 inside the anchor to apply the link. The next step is adding a paragraph for the brand name. So add a paragraph, set class name to margin button 2 and show the product.brand inside this paragraph. The next paragraph is for price of the product, put dollar sign before it and render product.price. At the end, we are going to render a button to show add to cart using this button. Create a button, set class name to primary button. We create this class using Tailwind later and set the type of button to button and the caption is add to cart. Save the code and here is the component product item. What we do in this component is to render a product thumbnail. Save the code, go to index.js and use the product item inside the index.js. Get rid of home page and inside that create a div, set class name to grid. So we are going to render product thumbnail next to each other. So we need to set the display to grid. The grid is a class from Tailwind. Set the grid calls to one. So we have one column, but if we are in middle size screen and bigger, set the grid columns to three. So for mobile, it shows one item in a row and for tablet and desktop, it shows three item in a row. But for large screens, it shows four item in a row. Create a gap between the items and inside the dev, it's time to render data. Select this one to auto import it from utils folder. Uh huh. It's imported and type products and use map function to render an array in React. The parameter is product. And what we do here is to use product item inside parentheses use product item press tab to import it from components folder and pass product to this component and close it don't forget to set the key and the key is product dot slack because it's unique save the code and let's check the result aha uh -huh. here we have list of products we have image, product name, brand, price, and add to cart button. What I'm gonna do here is to apply the styles that I have used in the product item. They are cart and primary button. To do that, go to, go to geloballs.css and what we're gonna do here is to use the apply modifier from Tailwind. At the very end of geloballs.css, create card class and use apply and put the classes that you are going to use. First of all, I'm going to create margin button 5, set the display to block 
create a round shape, use border and set the border to gray 200, create a shadow, middle sh shadow and that's it. By using apply, I can use the card instead of writing a long CSS list like this. Inside the product item, automatically the card will be replaced with this code. Let's do the same for primary button. Dot primary button for this class. Use apply. Make it rounded. Set background color to amber 300. Padding vertically from top and bottom. Padding horizontally from left and right. Create a shadow. Set outline to none and for hover make the color darker and for active more darker. So here is the class for primary button. Save the code and check the result. Aha, great. So as you see, when I move mouse over add to card or and click, the color has been changed. We successfully implemented listing products in the homepage using Next.js, React and Tailwind classes. If you make the screen smaller, let's say I'm trying to make it smaller, smaller. Aha, uh -huh. as you see, for medium screen, it shows three items. And for large screen, it shows four items in a row. And for small screen, like mobile, it shows one item in a row. They are coming from this line of code. Great, let's see what we did in this lesson. We created component name product item to render product thumbnail in the screen. In index.js, we used that and to list products. We added images and also we added two classes using apply from Tailwind. And also we added data.js to have sample products. That's it about this lesson. Until next lesson, bye-bye.